sometimes in rhymes. Religions are gangs too. The truth lives only within you. Travel all the way within. All the way within. Give up everything in this world. Food, water, everything. Purify yourself through prayer. In your mind, purify every thought you've ever had, every lust you've ever had, every greed, every egotistical thing you've ever had. Purify it all through non-stop prayer. No food, no matter put inside of you. Pure spirit all the way home to heaven. Eternal love like fusion. Perfect pure reality. Make it all the way home. Then you'll know what you're talking about. Then you'll know who to support and who not to support. And trust me, if you're not supporting Jesus, well, he's the gatekeeper. Your heart's got to be with him when you take that journey with him. And when you do, make it all the way. Make it all the way with Jesus. And I'm not religious. I'm not. I don't go to church. Don't know that and everything. Mosques and churches are full of preachers and imams. All about the numbers and the money and the materials they can get. It's a safety in numbers thing. But when you're with the truth, you'll stand alone. You won't care. You'll have no fear. No fear of terrorists. No fear of bullies, which are terrorists as well. The form of terrorism is bullyism. Being a bully. None of that. Because you stand with the truth. You know, God's got your back. God's got my back, I knew that. You kill me, but I can't kill the truth. That's that. And when the truth is set free, it's like a lion. A lion. Rawr. It takes care of itself. That's what the truth is. Once it's set free, it takes care of itself. That's the truth. And Jesus is the truth. Like I say, I don't go to church. Like I said, I just told you. I don't need to go to church. My church is in here, my heart, my mind, which is with Jesus. 75, 80% of the time. Over 20% of the time, I'm a physical being. God don't force anybody to follow him and worship him. You can't follow somebody who terrorizes you. You can't love that person with your heart. Or that being, or whatever, with your heart. God won't force anybody to te to follow him through terrorization, beheadings, suicide bombing, you know, like the Muslims and everything. That's not God. God is pure life essence, eternal. That sounds like God to you, forcing you to follow him. And how can you love somebody? Think it's impossible for a human being to love somebody or something. When they're being forced to, through terror and fear, of being beheaded, if they don't convert to the Pied Piper, Muhammad, Satan's representative, the Pied Piper, God Siv. You shall know by, you shall know them by their fruits. Jesus told everybody, false prophets would come. And you'll, you'll and you'll know them by their fruits. Well, it's easy to see in it, like you know, with a the Muslim problem. You know, look at their fruits. Does that represent God to you? It sure as heaven and hell don't to me. God don't force anybody into loving Him. Like I said. You can't love something or somebody that is trying to, that is forcing you to through terror, beheadings, torture, murder, rape. Because all these things Muhammad did to convert people, 53 years old, uh, old 53, takes a six year old girl called Aisha as his last wife. That's what he did. 13 wives, three of them under the age of 11. Aisha is so called favourite wife, six. And he was 53. And also, on top of that, 13 wives, he had 
30, over 30, concubines, concubines, sex slaves. And he was a slave trader as well, a slave master. And he went around forcing everybody to follow him, saying he's from God. Nah, Pied Piper, only reason God let him live, as long as he did, was to sieve out the evil from the pure. Only evil would follow that depraved tune, that depraved, disgusting life example that Muhammad did. That Muhammad put out there, that he lived. Only evil hearted and evil lustful people would follow that. So they go straight to hell, because he's the Pied Piper and you're the rat. If you're following his, his depraved tune, trust me on that. Team Jesus, all the way. You don't need to go to church to do it. Like I think I mentioned in this video, churches and mosques, they're full of people, they separate, they divide people. It's about money, materials, numbers, safety in numbers. That's what they're about. When you truly know God, you truly love Jesus, 100% with all your heart, if you make it all the way home to heaven, eternal love light fusion, perfect pure reality, the true self, your true body, true everything eternal, when you make it home, then you don't need safety in numbers. You'll speak the truth without fear. I ain't scared of any of you killing me. Because you can't kill the truth, you see. The truth is like a lion. Once set free, it takes care of itself. A lion. Arr! That's the truth. And sometimes the truth has to be tough. That doesn't mean physically arming anybody. No way. You have to defend yourself when you're attacked. Personally, physically attacked. And spiritually as well. But you don't attack nobody in the name of God. Because love don't do that. So if it's love, you give out through words. If you have to become physical, somebody forces you to, attacks you, then obviously you have to defend yourself. And remember, God's got your back when your heart's with Jesus. God bless you.